parallel to, can you tell me? Uh, is parallel. Oh wait, no, shut up. Can you tell me? Yeah, DA. DA? Oh, okay. There you go. Wait, what? Then, uh, lower, lower case A, lower case D. What the f- <laughs> Let's begin. So, ABCD is a parallelogram. Proof that ACD and CAB are equivalent. So first, so just dance, dance, dance. well, we've got ACD spotted right over here. And we've got BAC spotted right over here. First, let's write down everything they gave. So, ABCD is a parallelogram and AC and DB haha I like BD instead intersect at E so what is the reason for this well it's given who can tell me a big property of the parallelogram that comes into its name. Um, 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 hold up, you have to give me time. Um, hmm? rectangle? I said a property of the parallelogram it's they ex gave it. It's exactly one gram. What the f- <laughs> Are you uh, in the wrong class? Who is right? Me or him? <laughs> okay, let's just continue on. God damn it, administration! Please, I told you to remove these from my class. ASAP! And I told them Dean now because I don't even know if they're human or not. They seem too stupid and incapable of intelligent life. Anyway, <clears throat> the, uh, the opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Oh, that makes sense. Say that one more time, buddy. Anyway. Opposite side of a parallelogram I had is anti-opposite side. What the f- What the f- Who told you that? Okay. Yeah, these are definitely not intelligent life forms. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Anyway. Even a mosquito has a larger brain than you. Roasted. <laughs> Is the roasted meaning something good or bad? Bad. Oh. <laughs> okay, I figured out which one is murder. And that's neither of them. Anyway. <coughs> AB is parallel to CD. And... DC, oh wait, AD is parallel to, can you tell me? Uh, is parallel. Oh wait, no, shut up. Can you tell me? Yeah, DA. DA? Oh, okay. There you go. Wait, what? Then uh, lower, lower case A, lower case D. What the f- Huh? Even I know that's the right answer. <laughs> the right answer? Yeah, it's totally the right answer. It's very definitely the right answer. You guys are probably too stupid to even see, so not gonna spoil uh, whatever surprise you wanted. Okay. Opposite side of a parallelogram parallel and finally let's take a look at this side so let's say we have two parallel lines number unos number dos and it gets cut off by a transversal then that means that all interior angles are equivalent. All interior angles here will be equal. So, uh, 
the interior angles here are equal, so that means that BAC, which is over here, and ACD, which is over here, are congruent. Alright, so why is that? Well, imagine it this way. So this is AB, and this is CD. And then suddenly you have this little transversely missed line cutting through you, severing you. What would you do, Mr. Blister? So, that means that these angles over here are equivalent. But the thing is, this is a parallelogram, my amigos. So, that means that uh, these two are also equivalent. Alright. So, now that means that BAC is congruent to ACD. And that's because interior angles of a uh, interior angles formed by yada 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 a transversal intersecting two parallel lines will also always be equivalent. Alright? I'm too lazy to put that over here. Alright boys, it's time to go to the piano. I know you hate that from the spoken English class. Brought to you by Brilliant.org.